Blessings, salutations. My name is Yarima Karama. Uh, I might start calling these segments "These Are the Days of Our Lives." So I got a, I got a, I got a. Actually, I kind of got a question for the viewers, and uh, just wanted to put some some info out there. So I'm at this panel uh, meeting earlier, and it, quite frankly, the unity, um, the people that showed up, it was a great event. Um, I'm live streaming this as well as the YouTube thing. So, uh, if you kind of see my eyes looking up and down, it's cause I'm doing the live stream as well. But so I'm at the panel discussion and it was a great turnout, nice turnout. Um, and basically what the format was is for artists to get together, um, learn some, uh, get some information on some, some business stuff, which I wasn't even privy to. I, I, I learned that there is actually grant money for artists and most cities have grant money. I never knew this. Um, uh, uh, so I learned this and I learned that it's a pretty simple process to apply for, uh, this grant money. Um, and, and, you know, it, the grant can cover anything from, from, possibly getting your instruments to travel fair uh, for venues that you might be booked at. Um, you can actually, you know, get grant money to travel and they pay for your hotel and, and stuff like that. And I never, I never knew this. This was, this was like, I was kind of, I was kind of mind boggled to be quite frank. And maybe I'm out of the loop. Maybe it's something that I should have known, but I noticed that most people who were there didn't know. And one of the things that was brought up is that there is a group of people that that is very well knowledgeable on on this. And um it kind of broke down to as it as it usually does uh when there's a uh when there's money that's going to one group as opposed to another group it broke down as far as race is concerned. And so as I'm sitting here listening and I'm taking all this information in and I'm learning about, you know, the grants and it come, come to find out that, um, like every year here in Columbus, there's only like two or three people that, that, that basically sign up and they basically get the grant money. And the excess grant money just goes over into the into the into the next year, goes over into other things. And so we were talking about the segregation and the divide in the or is there a segregation and divide in the city uh uh concerning concerning the art? Peace, brother Granville. Love you, man. Uh is there, you know, is there segregation? And I, absolutely there is. I mean, the the city of Columbus is is segregated anyway. Uh, I mean, there's segregation amongst uh, uh, people of the same race. There's segregation, so the city is kind of is kind of uh, set up like that. But this is what I wanted to. This is what I wanted to uh, uh, kind of put out there. And I'm just curious because maybe I'm out of the loop. I was out of the loop on the grant money. I didn't know about that. And you can best best assure, I'm going to be applying for that like uh tomorrow morning bright and early uh but this is what this is what uh i wanted to know like artists in mo in, in cities are they getting radio play and if not why aren't they and does an artist is an artist obligated to be able to do something for the radio company in order to get spins on the radio. And the, and the reason I'm bringing this up, the reason uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing this issue up is because this was, this was part of our discussion. And before I talked with a very, uh, a, a DJ that I'm, that I'm, that I'm very cool with. And I, I asked him in this, this brother, he travels around the country. And I was just like, you know, what is the formula for a person to get spins on the radio like I know you you know you will play my stuff if I'm at a venue performing you'll play my CD 
but you won't play it on the radio. So what's the formula? And he basically, he was like, well, man, you know, basically it came down to he's powerless when he's on the radio stage. I mean, when he's DJing out at the club or doing whatever, he, he can do his thing. But outside of that, at the radio station, he's powerless and it goes above his head. And so he was like, well, you you kind of almost got to wine and dine those people, get next to them, uh, 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 you know, take them out to dinner, talk them up, get, let them get to know you. And, and my, my, my thing is like, and I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I have a problem with that, man. I have a problem with that because I think in a in an earlier segment, I told you that I got a partner who actually sat down with Tommy Mottola and has sat down with, with some major, major producers in the game. And basically the only formula, the only formula as far as like a hit record or the only formula that you need when you go into a major production company to get signed or anything is whether they like your stuff or not. He basically said, Eurema, there is no formula. It comes down to if they like it. Because Tommy Matola might turn you down and say, no, that's not a hit record. And you go down to the next next major studio or next major production team, and they give you and they they say, Yeah, we're gonna put you on and offer you 10 million. So uh uh when it comes to the radios, the radio play, because you'll hear a Rick, and I'm not I'm not beating on Rick Ross or uh, 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 big kid, chief, whatever his name is. And I, I'm not hit, beating on none of those guys, but you will hear their stuff on the radio so many times per day. Chris Brown, you will hear his stuff on the radio so many times per day, but every major city, every city has an artist that is hot. That could just as very well be on that radio. So why isn't the radio stations playing them? And why does a person have to I shouldn't have to, as an artist, I'm an artist. First of all, I'm a starving artist, me, so I can't speak on other artists. I'm a starving artist. So as an artist, I don't have time to wine and dine you, man. I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't have the money to wine and dine you. As a matter of fact, that money, I need that for my next, my next trip. That money, I need that for, for my next batch of CDs that I have to have, have made to sell at venues and, and 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 places that I feature at. So I don't have I don't have the money to wine and dine you. I got the time maybe, but I don't have the money. And why should I have to? I respect you if you tell me my shit is just not hot. We just don't like it. I I respect that more than like I got to pucker my lips and kiss some butt to get my stuff played or any artist. We got hot artists here in in, in the city and I was telling them, uh, 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 and it wasn't even just about me at the panel. I was like, you know, why aren't these brothers and sisters getting no radio play? And the feed, some of the feedback I got was, well, you got to do something for the radio company. It's how you present yourself. And, you know, it's how if they if you know, it's how it's all in the presentation. You got to do something for them. It's about money. It's about money. I get the money aspect. I really, I really do. I get the money. I mean, I'm trying to sell my material to get money. I'm not necessarily trying to get rich. I'm just basically trying to make it day to day and hope that my material spread so far. I just want people to like my stuff. And if, if they can relate to it, then they can relate to it. I am smart enough to realize that there's 7 billion people in the world. Everybody's not going to like my stuff. I get that. I don't even trip on that. But basically we've gone from community radio to a corporate structure to where corporations are controlling what we hear. To me, that is intentional programming. That's intent. That's an intentional agenda. And I would fare to say that most of the people in that corporate artist, I mean, most of the people in that corporate office don't have a clue about art. They don't have a clue about it other than if they think they can market you and make some money off of you. So 
you know, when I when I when I presented this and, and it was like, yo, why aren't you know, why aren't certain people, you know, why aren't local artists getting no shine? Same thing, like why is and, and, and I, you know, it's real life, real talk. You know, I put it out there. I don't care who don't like it. None of that. But like the Lincoln Arts Theater, the I believe it's the oldest black theater in the city. We performed there last year, but there were stipulations. There were stipulations. First of all, it's all white ran. And there were stipulations on what we could say and do. And as a venue, they do have that right to do that. They do have that right to say. I mean, if I'm a venue owner and I have certain stipulations, absolutely. But certain people can't get in there to perform. Certain people can't get in. And, and, and there is there is a degree, uh, and sometimes a very large degree, on how these monies are dispersed to certain groups, to certain peoples. You know, you might go to a venue and they say, hey, you know, yeah, you want to perform, do that, well, okay, charge you 500 bucks. The next person might go and only be charged a hundred bucks. So, so, and, and, and what I'm saying is that a lot of these are based, are, are broken down a, a, along color barriers, basically. It's, it's a race issue. And, and, you know, like I said, I put it out there and, and it, you know, real life, real talk. That's what we do. So I want your feedback on, and, and maybe you can tell me something. I'm not, I don't know, because I keep things simple. I keep them I keep them no nonsense, very simple, very non-complex. Why aren't local why can't local artists get their stuff played especially when a lot of the when some of the local artists are on the same genre as the music that that's on the radio right now, why can't they get their stuff played in their own city? in their own city. And if they're not and if and if they're not, then what can we do to change that? And I understand that this is a good vehicle. We got, you know, the 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 uh YouTube and social media, the Facebook and all of that. But can we get our own radio stations? Is that possible anymore? Because there's local artists that need to be heard. I'm one of them, so I know. But more than that, um on a real on a real on real talk can we get our own radio station to where maybe it's dedicated to local artists or maybe even statewide artists just something to think about man i i you know i i look at the system and the deficiencies that it has it needs to be broken down that's just the way i see it i also look at life like this man i keep it very simple if you don't you don't have to allow me on your stage. Fuck it. I'll build my own. Real life, real talk. I'm out. Yurima Karama.